from bolt on hooks right there. We're gonna mow this tower project, hopefully all of it today. Let's get started. Yeah, I'm a little nervous with him driving that big 10 foot mower on Johnny Pod. Let's see how he does. than I've ever run before. I've been in some larger tractors, but not doing mowing. So I'm kind of learning how everything's tracking and this new property that I've never seen before. Trying not to damage the mower. I'm kind of still learning how everything tracks behind the tractor and making these turns and avoiding these guy wires and some boulders and Christy and Tim. So I'm running this Johnny 5 here, 5075E, and I'm using EPTO, so the engine is only running at about 1600 RPM, but it's still turning the mower at 540 RPM, and it doesn't even feel like it's working. I don't feel the, the tractor working at all. It doesn't, it just sounds like I'm idling right along, which on a 1 Series, it would be idling at 1575 RPM or so. But this, this tractor is just, it's amazing. It's just going right along, and this mower is cutting unbelievably well. So explain the ET, EPTO to folks that the, don't understand. The EPTO is just a set of gears. So instead of the tractor running at, I'm not sure what this one's running Nearly at, full throttle. Nearly full throttle to get that 540 RPM that we want at the rear, RP, at the rear PTO that the mower's designed to run at, it's a set of gears that, that operate you know, off the transmission. So it turns the PTO at 540 RPM, even though the tractor's only running at around 1600 RPM. Yeah, probably half throttle. You're, you're saving a little fuel. Now, if we were running maybe a 12 foot mower on thick, dense grass and saplings, we probably couldn't use EPTO. We'd need, the engine's probably not in its optimal torque and horsepower range at, at that RPM. So yeah. we'd probably want to use regular PTO for that. Yeah. But for this, for, for finished mowing and for this, you're saving fuel and, and, and it's more comfortable in the cab, not listening to that engine running. Just, just blasting. Yeah, it. yeah. Watching out for these guy wires and some other obstacles, trying to trim around these things, backing the mower up under them and stuff. And uh, it's a little bit more than I've ever done before, so I'm kind of a little nervous about everything, watching everything at once. The inside guy wires there are really at a steep angle, so really can't drive the tractor too close to them, but with this that wing sticking out so far, it's easy to back under them. Once you figure out how to back it up, it kind of tracks a little differently backing up than you think it's going to if you're used to backing up trailers. So it makes it a little bit difficult to figure out at first. So this grass is about, or grass, bushes, saplings, whatever they are, about three, three feet tall. The tractor's going right through it. It's really comforting in here, or, you know, comfortable in here with not having the, 
the noise of the tractor running at such a high RPM. Plus, it's uh, obviously more efficient. The speed of is about five acres, according to Tim. And I guess we've been mowing about an hour, an hour and a half or so. Probably could mow a little faster, but I'm still getting used to everything. I just take it easy and then fishing until Tim kicks me out, and puts me on the on the Kubota. I'm trying to put my tire right on the inside of the cut line there, and it seems to be tracking pretty well there. I'm probably cutting about nine feet at a time with the ten foot mower. I'm coming up on this really steep wire, so. I'm going to do a favor to the other side here a little bit. Tim's really trimming close with that, <laughs> that six foot mower. Probably closer than I'd be comfortable with. This tractor really backs up fast, so I'm kind of favoring riding the clutch a little bit. having fun yet? I'm having a lot of fun. Really? Yeah, I started getting a little chilly in there. How about you? Oh, gosh, I'm not a little chilly and I'm having, <laughs> having trouble with my nose running, allergies oh, and heat. I'm sorry to hear that. That's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah I can. Your, your sympathy is, uh, is yeah. heartfelt. Yeah, I can tell. So <laughs> tell me about Johnny Five and the 10-foot mower. Well, Johnny Five and the 10-foot mower is just short, nothing short of awesome. The shuttle shift, I'm getting used to that. I mean, I've driven a lot of forklifts. I used to be a a forklift instructor at uh, at my day job. But a forklift is a little bit different. Yeah, it's shuttle, but you still right. have a kind of an accelerator to, to be able right. to go at different speeds. Right, and you don't have the clutch. But I'm learning it. It's fun. I'm just starting to do a little trimming, feeling comfortable trimming closer to the Yeah, I noticed you were trimming. Guys, I noticed so. you were trimming. And a lot of times, uh, somebody who's got some experience mowing, even though you can mow back and forth, you enjoy trimming because yeah. that's when you really feel like you yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. are using the mower to its But it's a lot of work doing the trimming. You, you've you got to turn around pretty far in this machine to see everything. And, and um, so, yeah, I'm not used to all the twisting and all. Yeah, but, and you, uh, you can't estimate where your mower is without looking. Right. right? This, if I see yeah. just a corner of mine with this tractor, then yeah. I know where the other side is. Right, you know? exactly. I'm getting the hang of it. I think another hour or so I'll have it. <laughs> this is not working in my favor. <laughs> The plan was for us to, to swap tractors at right. one point. Well, maybe I'll drive this home for drive, you. On the way home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that way you don't have to go into the house all sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the cab? The cab, now I'm used to a 3 Series cab, a 3720 cab. So are you feeling lonely um, in that one? You got too much space? I feel like I could have a little party in there. Yeah, <laughs> there's so much room in there. I, I, I don't feel cramped at all. Now, I'm not a big guy. I feel very comfortable in the 3 Series cab. It feels like it's, you know, just made for me. This is definitely um, the room, the space in it is, uh, is fantastic. I love how the, the side windows pop open on these if you wanted to get a little yeah. air versus the three series, you have to open the whole door. Okay. Um, I like how the right hand door will stay open. It's got the gas cylinder to hold the right hand door okay. open. The three series doesn't have that. Uh, and the overall room and comfort is just really nice on this machine. Okay, yeah. give me two bads. What, what, uh, what, what two things could be improved on, on either the tractor or the mower? The tractor, the tractor reverse gear is not right. There's no way, if you're in, you're mowing and we're mowing primarily in B, B range, second gear, um, there's no way it should be when I flip the lever into reverse that I should feel like I'm going twice as fast in reverse. And it is about 10% faster. Yeah, it feels twice as fast. And you can tell by the sound and the gears that it's yeah, faster. Yes. Um, and yes. when I look at the speedometer and I've asked other people and, and it's yeah. about 10% faster in reverse and yeah. forward. And yeah, it uh, should be 10% slower It than should your be 10% slower. Yeah, exactly. it should be slower than your forward speed. Yeah. So what else? Any, anything um, else? That... The mower, I have nothing bad to say about the mower. Um, but watching that mower when you're doing the swales and the the ruts and watching that those wings just flex independently and follow right along that's pretty neat to watch yeah 
And you've you've probably seen how a bush hog usually leaves the the grass right behind the tractor tire, a single blade yes, like this yes, one. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. You just don't see that behind you. You don't see that with this. I've only seen some of the the wind drawing with some of the really denser stuff, but for the most part, it's amazing how well it's cutting. Yeah. And how little effort it seems to be. It doesn't sound like it's working hard to do it either. <laughs> we better get back to it, or you're going to want to stop and eat a cheeseburger instead. Right. Of, Right. Instead of continuing to seat some, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you might work up a little sweat standing outside here, and I don't yeah, want yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't um, want that to happen. Yeah, I need Christy to come over and dab my forehead. <laughs> 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 oh, and I tried out these new ISO tunes you let me use. Oh yeah. Yeah, Christy called me because I was screwing everything up, so <laughs> so she called me and I popped them in. You know, I undid the magnets like you told me and popped and them in, the phone. And, and I was still cruising along and it was it sounded good on my end I was very impressed with them they're very nice I gave Ken some isotunes he yes. chose the extra 2.0s yep thanks to isotunes for those yes by the way ten dollars off your own set at isotunesaudio.com slash ttwt use code ttwt for that and my intent was that he I thought he would need isotunes when he was driving the outside tractor but it's not right. looking good <laughs> It's it's not looking no it's not, not, not looking today. hopeful is it not that I'm not feeling it today. <laughs> Let's get to it. <laughs> you know we're now in the V range, third gear, a little lighter cutting, and I'm a little bit more used to the machine now. Just finishing up mowing around the tower here. Doing the last little section here. Tim's trimming up around the last guy wire there. I got as close as I was comfortable getting to that. Ah, there's a big rock there. Whoops. Tim didn't tell me about that one. <laughs> Well, that's why we use a rotary cutter. It doesn't care, usually. <laughs> oh, oh, well, man, rough ride, rough ride. I don't know what I'm hitting, but I'm still going, so. Whoa! <laughs> this field is really rough, but slowed down a little bit, but it's still cutting, so. It probably wouldn't look good if I ran over Christie, so. have this last little section to do and we'll be all done on this property. About as tight as you want to turn right there you can start to feel the carden joint on the drive shaft vibrate a little bit and that's about as far as you want to push it
hey we're all done we're all done it looks pretty good i'm impressed yeah and it didn't take us too long i don't i don't really know how long we've been here time flies to me yeah when i'm on a tractor yeah. it seemed to me like you got along really well yeah yeah once i got used to how everything tracked and and how far i could push the turns you can definitely feel that that carton joint start to it, to you bind can, up you can it, feel it you yeah. know when it, it's talking to you letting you know that hey i'm 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 That's about enough. where I want to be, yeah. Well, getting to feel that is important because yeah. on our first round, I don't think you had felt it yet. I mean, you were overwhelmed yeah, with all yeah, the different... Yeah, exactly. I was more worried about stopping the darn thing. <laughs> 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 Not running a guy wire and tipping the towers over. <laughs> yeah, that would have been kind of fun, though. It would have been cool to watch, especially if you had it on video. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, last year when we started on this, it was almost all brush like that. Now, that's the biggest brush. Right, okay. But we had brush like that all the way out here to the road. Uh, wow. Probably only about half an acre, maybe an acre to mow. Well, and I'm sure the, uh, I'm sure the neighbors appreciate the looks now, of it now. Yeah. Now I would say there's four acres to mow. Yeah. Well, we need to come up with another project for Ken to do for us. This has uh, been fun so far. Folks, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I know that, well, I have. I have too, immensely, yes. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor time, time with Tim. Tim. I'm going to sneeze here because oh. of all my allergies, oh, sorry you know. About that. Let me stand, let me yeah. stand back. <laughs> <laughs> my allergies are still yeah, going good. I see that. Um, yeah, is, you'll, is it working, Christy? You'll get better later. You'll be all right. Is it working? No, you'll get better. Get <laughs> oh, man.